Hi everyone, this is Meir speaking to you just before my lecture and workshop in the East-West Bookshop. I was invited to the East-West since the late 80s. And so right now I feel um, so much like a regular guest with them. Uh, they used to be once in Menlo Park and many, many years ago they moved to Mountain View. So I hope that many people, not just from the South Bay, will come to that workshop. And my topic today is working with our weak parts. We always, always work with what's strong. That is what we learn to do in our society. People strengthen what is already strong with them. If you do it intellectually, that is exactly your way for senility from your early 60s. If you do it physically, that's the beginning of arthritis from your early 50s. What we need to learn to do is use what is weak. My biggest proof is my work with polio patients. While physiotherapy worked very hard to strengthen their strong limbs, I worked very hard to strengthen their paralyzed limbs. And sometimes my success was only 1%. At times, it was 65%, like the case of Vered, who is the chief practitioner of my work in Israel. She was dragging her foot, and it was paralyzed. And I was able to get to a place where she could lift it all the way on a chair, which was amazing. I just now worked on one of my paralyzed patients. And if I would lift her leg up, her hamstrings would hurt. Until I worked on the foot. And when I worked on the foot, which is very weak, in that left leg, the hamstring stopped hurting. So, the important thing is we want to work on the periphery, but we also want to work on what is weak with us. Whatever is weak with us needs strengthening, not only what's strong. So, for example, when I teach people to use their toe muscles, to lift the legs sideways, to stretch backwards and not only forwards, to walk and run backwards and not only forwards, what I'm doing is I'm teaching them to use either forgotten movements so the brain will connect to them, or movements that are weak to reinforce the strength of the body. Then, the same process that will hit you in your 50s will hit you when you are already 100. The difference is huge. So I worked right now on one of my clients and helped her move an eye that was injured more to the left because she couldn't move it to the left and did with her many exercises, including with red and green glasses, and got her eye to look more to the left. She felt enriched, and that her visual field got bigger. That is true about the eyes, that is true about the ears. When somebody comes to me and one of his ears is very weak, I get them to close or to plug their strong ear and listen with the weaker ear. And, of course, I also work on other things, like loosening up their jaw, which is the gateway to the ear. So, what I want to tell all of you is that more exercise will be invented throughout the years, but the direction should be to strengthen what is weak and to integrate it with what's strong. That is a very important base of working on the body successfully. And that is my method. Many blessings to all of you from here.